Okay, it's a rainy day out, and my dock is completely full of stuff. You can see it's there. There's no room to move. Some of these pieces you've seen already. Some you have not, but <laughs> there ain't no room here. And I've got another load coming, so it's time to do an unboxing. And here it is, the big box. And this thing, yeah, it's it's. It's big. It's it's on a pallet, well, pallet-like thing anyway. So, uh, time to do the unboxing, the reveal. So, no one figured out what this was, but uh, those things should have those things should have been the little clue here. They're drive select pins, specifically for control data. And, uh, yes, this is a disk drive, and it appears to be new in the box. And if we go back here, it should be a BJ402A. And a BJ402A is a big 300 meg, I believe, an SMD drive. I think this is probably going to be a uh, 9766. So let's open it up. Make it a proper unboxing, I suppose. I'm sorry, it's a little cramped here. But yep, we see on, uh, it's on a wooden pallet-like thing. Nice big box. Which, I'm going to put the phone down and take the box off. Interesting pattern on that grill. All right. This is big cardboard. And here we have it. Got some cardboard corners. Let's get them out of the way. It's a disk drive, wrapped in plastic with tags. This, I think it's the air filter. Yep, look at that. Brand new air filter. Like I said, these are the drive select pins. And uh, they go in the little front panel. See, this one is not one of the blue ones. It's one of the harvest gold ones. More cardboard. Back door. Let's get this out of here. Put it over here. Pop the straps. One of the reasons I need to do an unboxing is I need to get this thing on its own wheels. These are some uh, tough straps. Oh, bear with me. Should have. Got a bigger tool. There we go. All right, got a cardboard cover. And we got the bag. Bag's in pretty good shape. See, see. This is like a little pallet brag, oh, sort of. I may, you know, plastic's in pretty good shape. I may keep this. You know, one one kind of secret, um, if you're ever transporting anything on a flatbed trailer, like I used to, sometimes I still do, but a lot of times for big stuff, I just use the truck now. Um, yes, uh, shrink wrap does a pretty good job of cocooning things. And yes, tarps are also pretty good uh, at cocooning things. But the real secret are pallet bags. You can get them from, like, Uline. They're a thick plastic, and they're big. And, yes, they're made to cover a pallet. This is a slightly small one. This is about half size pallet. Um, and they are watertight. And uh, um, it's, it's a great way of cocooning stuff uh, to keep the rain out. And I've moved a lot of things on my flatbed trailer uh, covered with a pallet bag, and then, you know, you shrink wrap the hell out of it, add some tape, 
and watertight absolutely watertight and uh, these are the secret anyway let's take the bag off oh look at that beautiful paint remove before operating remove before operating yep there we go look at that this is the first time this has been opened since it left the factory apparently the head should be good should be all aligned <laughs> hopefully now the one thing is no i am not going to plug this thing in and put a pack in simply because of the dreaded foam inside this these things do have foam and uh the stuff that just turns to garbage and that's going to have to get all stabilized or stripped out one thing i'm noticing this does not actually have a CDC tag on it. Usually there's a CDC tag here. Eh, kind of a shame. I like those. The, the kind of standard uh, blue, and, blue and black tag like this guy here. Um, there should be one on there. Unless this was one that was made to be sent to a different manufacturer for rebadging. Although, interesting that it is still in the Harvest Gold color. So I don't know what's up with that. Inside we got, well, it looks like we've seen maybe a little bit of moisture. There's the, uh, the, this this was in a warehouse with all the other CDC stuff. Yeah, see so here's some of the foam and it's not bad. It's not bad, but you can see it's not great either. I don't trust it. I don't, I don't trust any of that foam. Looks to be in wonderful shape. Ah, except I can't get this door open. All right, that door is being stubborn. All right, not sure why that's not opening, but uh, well, there it is. But yeah, it's looking to be a 9766, although without a tag, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, that BJ402 number is kind of the uh, CDC internal number. CDC was not very consistent about naming things. They, they had various... They, I think everything had about three different part numbers and uh, <laughs> um, not much consistency between, between them and they could share part numbers and oh boy. So uh, BG4, BJ402A like the uh, the box said um that's probably the best thing to go on and this certainly looks like one of the uh 300 meg 9766 drives that well frankly everyone in the world used oh here's a tag here what's this say okay there's a bj402a series code 13 serial number 2335 so 208, one phase, one phase, okay, that's easier to power anyway. Oh, it is a refurbished unit, look at that. 1989, this unit has been refurbished by Control Data to meet Control Data's exacting specifications using only genuine original manufacturer quality parts. So, okay, so this is actually a refurb. So... I don't know, maybe that didn't happen in storage. I, I would think they would they would replace that piece, because who wants to refer, get a refurb and there's a spot of rust on it? Uh, okay, so this is interesting. This is actually a refurb, but it looks new. It looks really good. Now, I do need... I got a little bit of raindrop there. That'll dry off. I'm going to close the dock door as soon as we're done with this video. One of the reasons I'm doing this now is because I have to make room on my dock here. I need to get this thing on wheels so I can move it around. Because even with the pallet jack, yes, with the pallet jack it's easy to move around. But if there's no room for the pallet jack, it's hard to move around. So, 
I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to get this thing off of here. You can see the wheels are not not touching the bottom of the pallet. I guess they're sitting on these two 2 by 4s here. Um, nor is it sitting on the feet. So, not sure how I'm going to do this. I don't, I'm not sure how they, they intended you, to, you, the end user, to take this off the pallet. Because they don't seem to have provided a ramp. And yes, these things are closing in on 600 pounds. Um, so I don't know. I may have to make a quick, quick little ramp. Kind of looks like maybe if I, I put a couple of two by fours next to these two by fours, uh, I could get the wheels on there and at least be able to roll it out. And perhaps with my fancy new toy, um, which I guess will be shown in an upcoming video, upcoming video, I'll be able to pry this thing onto the ground it's nice and gentle because I don't want this thing to bounce because it should be in excellent shape. So there we have it. It's a big disk drive, and it's nearly new, and it has really nice paint. And uh, you know, actually, when I'm done unloading this, you know, I might well, I guess I'll have to dry out the plastic now because uh, it might have a little water on it. But um, I might put the plastic right back on this just to keep the dust and crap out of here. So there we have it. Finally, the unboxing of the disk drive okay hope you liked the video leave a like maybe subscribe check me out on twitter and uh share it around i don't know why i'm showing you the the butt end of the drive here <laughs> not the not the more pleasing front end of the drive but that's just the way things work around here all right see you later bye bye